Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today what we're gonna do is just kind of play with these papers. And these are the ones that I cut off of my Etsy mailing um, tags or slips, whatever. Um, <clears throat> as I've said loads of times, they print on one half of the page and if you, know, you don't have it set up to do another one right after that, it's just hard to line them up. So I end up with all these halves um, left over. So um, we are going to just paint and play with those to get some backgrounds that we could use for, you know, making tags or pockets or whatever in the world. So anyway, I'm just going to kind of play around and I know a lot of this type of stuff would probably be easier like on a jelly plate. Um, I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to use, you know, what I have, which I'm, all, I'm about that. Like just use what you've got. You don't have to buy things necessarily. I mean, some things you might need, but, um, other things you don't. So that's, that's my kind of take on that. So I'm just gonna use um, some of my Arteza paints and I've got watercolors and just all kinds of stuff, um, stamp pads and whatever, and just kind of play around. So I saw somebody and I don't know who, so I apologize for uh, not paying close attention. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or what. I think it was when I was just kind of scrolling and I just thought, oh, that's kind of cool and moved on. So I don't know. <laughs> Who did this otherwise I would happily tell you guys but I'm just not sure so um, but anyway they put paint on one of these little stamp dealies <laughs> for lack of a better term and then just kind of rubbed it around I'm actually gonna spritz it with some water just to make it move even easier I'm just gonna play around and see what I get. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are having a good day around here. Just doing the life. Um, it is gonna be over 100 degrees today, which is crazy for this time of the year here. So I got everything done this morning that requires me to be outside. <laughs> and, and so now I'm inside. So yeah, so this is a perfect example of probably what would work better on a um, like jelly plate or that type of thing. But like I said, I don't have one. So I'm just playing around. I figured what the heck, like it may turn out cool, it may not, but at least maybe I can use some pieces of this paper or whatever, um, you know, to make something a little more interesting than I might otherwise. So that's just what I wanted to do today. I honestly just didn't know what to do. And I'm like, I need to dye these papers and it's gonna be 101 degrees. So I might as well um, get some color on them and try to get them dry, you know? And then that way I'll have them to use, which is fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna do a different color way because I think it'd be fun to have all different colors. I want to do that. I think I'm going to do that little Tim Holtz journal um, next. So I kind of want to play with some of those type of colors that I might use in there. I guess I probably should have like done them in some kind of order so that I could use the same colors, but I'm just playing around. I worked some more on my stencils and they are I think they'll work once I, I just have to get the drawing right because you know you, if you obviously have ever worked with a stencil you can't have all the lines cut out or it doesn't work so that's kind of what I'm working on is how to make like the eyes look right and things like that which is a little bit tricky I might just do a little dot of black in this too. I don't know. So anyway, that's kind of what I was working on all morning. Sorry, got quiet. <laughs> Like thinking, 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 right? The brain goes.
wonder if we spritzed it a little, if it would. Uh, not really, huh? These are those iridescent colors from Arteza. Again, I know I've been using those a lot, but they've just been out ever since I used them the first time, so. Kind of want to keep, you know, the colors so that they don't get muddy. That's really the trick there. And I thank you guys for all your nice comments and well wishes for my son. He's doing awesome, like way better than I ever would have thought that fast. So that's great. He's hardly had, you know, he says it just hurts like if you push on where the teeth were removed, which obviously. So that's great. Very happy that that's how that turned out. You just never know. This is just water. Sprayed on there. And I'm just making it up as I go along. I'm clearly not doing anything that I've seen somebody do. <laughs> but this is how you learn to do new things so, or come up with cool ideas. Like a lot of it might be a total flop, but you know, if you can use parts of it, then that's great. I just think they'd be fun backgrounds for some pockets and things. Way to use this paper. I do have a bunch tea dyed, but just because that's kind of wacky. But that might be a good one to add like number stencil to or something like that. And it's cool because it's all glittery. And this is just copy paper because that's what I use obviously to do the receipt things or the mailing tags. Yeah, a lot of that's not going to pick up probably. I picked up a little bit. So we'll revisit some of those. Probably to put some other things with it. I put that um, paper over the top just to keep the glare down. And that's really kind of not helpful. But I like to use this um, mat by Tim Holtz because it's super easy. Obviously, you can see to clean up after you get glue or paint or whatever on it so that's why that's there yeah so that's kind of just a fun little thing to play with if you have one of those and you don't have a jelly plate it gives you a little bit of something different move it over here a little bit and I was thinking it would be fun to play with some watercolors and maybe glue a couple things down Need my blue book. I don't care if it gets a little water on it, it's not going to hurt it. I just had pieces of that uh, Tim Holtz tissue. I'm just going to try all different types of things on here. Nothing in particular. I might actually turn it this way. In case I make a pocket out of it. Or even tags. You know, if you wanted it to tear off a little bit like that, it would obviously run all the way down the side, right? Yeah, it's um, 
super hot in my craft room already today, <sighs> which it hasn't been that in a very long time. You can always tell when it's a real cooker outside, it just gets almost unbearable in here. I mean, it's better with the new windows, but this is just where the sun hits all day long, so it's just a hot room. And that's just Tim Holtz tissue again, and book page. Yeah, I don't know why I got into doing all this different stuff. I think it just sort of runs like that. You do the same thing for a while and then you, you know, want to do something different, so. Trying all different stuff. See if anything sticks, right? <laughs> Maybe come the next new favorite thing that you like to do. Some music. I'm really enjoying using up all these scraps that I have laying around, truth be told. And I have no idea, obviously, which um, parts of these will get used for what, but it'll at least be something different to play with. And use. It has stamping left on it. And there's a crazy little fish. And as you can see, I'm not worrying about um, inking because I am going to put some paint on here. this fish. She's cute. He would have been actually good with the bubbles. <laughs> okay. So this here. And I'm really not caring. I'm just, um, you know, plopping stuff down so that I just have some sort of interest in the background. Ugh. Helps if it doesn't rip up like that. We're going to cover that 58. Let's see, what other little bits do we have? And I'm kind of trying to stick with not um, digitals just because they've been printed and they might run and I don't want them to. I just want it to be you know papers that aren't going to do that. Some sewing tissue.
Now the lines on the ledger could come off. That's a possibility. That happens sometimes when I dye it. Want some different variations in color. Kind of typing text on it. Okay. Phone's ringing, of course. I'm not reading these, so I, um, I'm hoping that all the language is okay. I don't know if this is totally going to work, but we're going to try it. This is that um, oh, book that I got at the dollar store, and I can't think of it. it was a TV show. Now I can't think of what it was, <laughs> but it's a piece out of there. I like that green typing text, that's kind of cool. This may be better tags. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I like this, but it's too thick. It's an old ledger. That's randomly cut. <laughs> Tell that's a scrap. I'm who knows what? Mm, I don't even know if I really need any more because I can. I'm not that worried about the edges. They'd most likely get folded back or something covered up. Cover up where that is. Um. 
Sorry, I'm quiet. <laughs> Just working, you know. It's crazy how the brain just gets on focus and it just won't. <laughs> Don't have any stories to tell really anyway. Okay. Now we will just trim this piece off and then just a little paint on it and see how it comes out. It might be a fun little bit to do something with. Just covering up that. That one's not got water in it. This one does. If I can open it. Um, let me see. What do I want? Um, Of a rusty color, and these are um, Arteza's watercolors. I think that would go good with my rust and numbers digi or the industrial, and I think I'm going to do that in that little Tim Holtz book. So this one might be a good one to use for that journal. I put this here, then I won't mess up my and these are their um, water pens and I'm sure you guys have seen water pens um, they just hold water in the barrel you can see and then if you squeeze that little push button the water comes out so these are really nice if you're not like expert level which definitely I am not I mean, there's lots of really fancy brushes out there, but this works great if you're just doing what I'm doing, playing around. And then you can just clean it off by squeezing it and getting some fresh water through it. And let's try some green, maybe kind of a olive-y color mixed with a little bit of more of a foresty. This will also wrinkle this paper a little bit and give it a little interest. Just one has a little color on it. Just use a little black here and there. You could do this type of technique for a Father's Day card. That'd be kind of cool. Let it dry and then um, make a card out of it. That would be fun. These colors obviously make me think of that. Let that one dry. And then we'll see how it looks when it's dry. We can add other numbers to it too. Get this cleaned out. Put that aside. Um, maybe we could just do one. Like with just watercolors. I'm just spraying water everywhere. <laughs> I'm used to, I usually have that smaller <laughs> squirt bottle. Uh, maybe I'll put this back over there. or add, you know, color. It's 
not going to be anything specific. This obviously is not a good kind of paper to do this with. <laughs> it's much better to use watercolor paper, but like I said, I'm trying to use this and I just figured, well, I can tea dye more or coffee dye more or whatever, or I can give them a little color. So I'm just winging it. So the watercolors aren't gonna react the way they would if they were in or on good paper watercolor paper. but it will definitely add something to the white paper. <laughs> Even bad, it'll add something. I think it'll be cool that once it dries, it'll be fun to make stuff out of. Better than just white. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? These little bits, too. Just keep going in this vein. that rusty color. Obviously, wherever, wherever you put your paintbrush right after you get the paint on it is where it's going to be the darkest. So like if you wanted to do like an ombre effect, you know, just keep moving down, adding water. I didn't want to use, um, or I wouldn't want to use watercolor paper doing this anyway because it's too thick. So me making pockets out of that would be kind of ridiculously thick and hard to fold. This reminds me of being a kid anyway. Because <laughs> we always only painted on, um, you know, copy paper or whatever. Whatever was around at the moment. And then once these dry, you know, you can stamp on them, um, stencil on them, just all kinds of things. So I think that's kind of fun. Just something different. fill my pen with water. 
Okay, I'm gonna let some of these dry and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna fill my pen back up with water too. I'll be right back. Okay, so these ones are uh, basically dry. This one's still a little bit wet, but I'm gonna start with this one anyway because um, I think that one will work best for what I wanna do. What we're gonna do is fold it into one of these pockets and um, Gail Agostinelli is where I saw these, but I know she got the idea from Wendy's Journal Adventure. And these are pockets that I've done before too on my channel. So this isn't anything new, but it may be if you are new to my channel. And if you are, welcome, welcome. And welcome back to all my subscribers. Love you guys. So yeah, this um, little pocket is easy. And you can see when you fold quite often, collages will do that. And that's just sort of the, the way they are. But, I mean, that's easy to fix. Just put a little glue on there. And you could put some sort of top coat over it before you did this, and that would probably help a little bit. But um, I'm not that worried about it. It will stay down. It's just a matter of getting the glue right where it needs to be. All right. And they need to be evened up a little bit because this is, like I said, pieces that I just trim off of papers. That I'm using. I gotta grab my cutter. Sorry about that. It was of course across the room. <laughs> I do all my orders over on the other side of the room and so a lot of times my cutter ends up over there. I just want to trim a little bit off of it to get it nice and straight. But this will at least give me some use for um, these papers. Like I do not want to throw all those away. It's just too many, too many pages. They just collect over time, you know. I just stick them in a box when I'm doing orders and I just keep putting them in there and then eventually, you know, I have a little pile like that. And then it's time to do something with it. I know you can print two out on one page. I just always forget and then, you know, cause I'm in the middle of trying to package stuff and, and the dingling, so there's that. My biggest thing is that I like to finish one order before I start another one cause I'm always worried I'm going to like mix them up or something, especially cause um, most of it is like book cradles. And that would be easy to confuse since I send them all out in the exact same style box. So, so essentially all I did there is cut off the bottom part of this flap and this flap just so that it's not um, sticking too far down and making my pocket thicker. And this one I can already see I need to make a little bit shorter. My kids are here so you can hear them. They're jabbering at each other. I was amazed at how fast my son got film better after the um, whole wisdom teeth thing. Of course, I didn't have the normal wisdom tooth removal, so. That's why I was a mess. I'm gonna just do one side, I'm not gonna do both. So I'll have to ink inside of this. Definitely where that thumb notch is right there. I'm gonna go a little further down just because I don't want it to be this obvious white spot coming up on it. That's good. So yeah, hopefully you guys like this idea. I don't know. I just was thinking I need to do something with those and I kind of want to um, play with some collage stuff and some paint. That seems to be my thing lately. <laughs> hopefully I'm not driving everybody nuts, but 
just got to do what you're feeling or it doesn't work. I just put it along both of the edges and then that way I know it's going to get glued down. I probably should have made that one shorter too, but it's folding fine. So, And then you'll notice I cut those in just a little bit just so they're not um, showing on the other side at all. Try to make sure I don't glue this together. These are super easy pockets, but they're great. Um, Wendy's Journal Adventure and Gail both do them with two, or er, with sheets of coffee dyed paper, which you could totally do with this as well. This is just another spin on like using the coffee dyed paper, but um, they used coffee dyed paper to make the tags and the pockets and then like, collaged on them or whatever. So I kind of want to put this guy here. This is my industrial digital download which I'll probably be using in the Tim Holtz little journal that I'm going to make. Kind of like this ink dripping ink spot. Not that I got the bottom of it but oh, I kind of feel like I want to lose that. <laughs> after trying to save the dripping spot, right? I just want to see more of the background. Okay. I love those pictures that are in that book that I used from 1904. It's just so cool. And they all have that you know, those frames and stuff around them already, which I thought was neat. This is just one of my uh, price tags. I'm not sure I'm gonna use it yet, but there's that. I thought maybe some cogs might look cool. And these are my shop too, if you're interested in anything like that. I print them out of my rest and numbers digital downloads, so um, these are actually actually rust um, photographs that I took, and so then you get all different colors like like that. But I think this goes like you can see it better, so I think I'll use that. Maybe one more. Use those three. I don't know if I'll use the price tag. What else could I put on there? A number. I think I like the four better. So yeah, I think that's fun doing those papers that way. You could do all different versions and colors and you know, whatever. Whatever you wanted. Flowers or um, butterflies, birds. because they are white cardstock that I print them out on. And I know it seems weird to do the back, but it truly does get those edges nicely, especially when there's all kinds of little holes and things. Especially on these die cut pieces. Black one I don't have to worry about because that's black paper. Sorry about that last video. I could not figure out how to, um, I got a new editing software thing 
when I started using my phone and my iPad and all that, and I, with having all the things that I've had going on with Glowforge and um, just all of it <laughs> this new year, um, which isn't really new now, but you know what I mean? Um, I just have not figured out how to edit videos. I used to know how to do that on my other software I had, but so I had to just let it be long. Hopefully you just fast forwarded wherever you wanted. Because that putting on the butterflies thing, I know that's a little boring. I need to figure out all that on that program. But I've been busy with stencils and all that this week. Too much to do. Not enough time ever in any day. It'd be great if we didn't have to sleep. I could get so much done. Oh my goodness. I say that, but I probably still couldn't get as much done as I want. Mm. Uh, it's kind of funny when you think about it. Okay. Do just like that four there. And these are also in my shop, these die cut numbers. But again, use what you got. If you've got other cool looking things for this type of deal, then that's what you should use. I'm just gonna do some marks like I do. And then I was thinking like I could make a tag or something out of one of those. kind of on the blank spots it's just fun to have you know a little bit of something could even get like in here a little bit okay this did glue down when I pushed on it <laughs> that's funny all right, I don't really think that needs anything else. It's pretty, it's pretty jam-packed. So there's that, and then a tag. I kind of like this. I don't know that it really goes. It's so, well, there is that blue sort of iridescent thing happening. Try it, we'll try it, see what we come up with. I'm just gonna put kind of glue on the back and fold it over and make a tag out of it. Cause that's kind of how uh, Gail and Wendy did theirs with the um, coffee dyed. I think they folded it three times, but I don't know. I don't know if I want mine that thick, but with the paint, I think it's two is enough. And the nice part about it is then you kind of have, um, well, I don't know. That would be hard to write on probably. I'll probably add a little note page paper or something. Okay, so I'm not having a brain meld with that. Try to get it straight. Trim that just a touch. Because I need it about that tall, probably. It's a pretty fairly tall pocket. Yeah. Perfect. So even though those papers are air or those paints are iridescent, I think they look kind of cool with this. So then on the back, I think I'll put just a piece of something. This wood paper would be kind of cool on the back. That's um, my Woodland Santa digital. It has the wood photographs that I took. And one of our razor rides and I inevitably will get the question what's a razor it's an ATV or all-terrain vehicle like a quad but it's more like a little car because it's got two seats and I mean you can get them with more seats but ours has two seats because um, 
My husband wanted one that would be usable on all the trails. In our area. Okay, get almost four or six. I don't even know. A lot more than ours has. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna put that on there and get a little. I got that pretty crooked, but I think it's fine. You'll be able to see some of the color on the sides coming through that way. Better put that pin back in or I'll have it all clogged up again, huh? So are you guys doing any traveling this summer? if we're going to get around to it or not. My daughter's got her second surgery coming up. So, and then her band camp will start shortly after that. So I don't know that we're going to go much of anywhere. I mean, we might do some little weekend stuff, but nothing very exciting. I'm going to put some of this over. I just don't know what part. Do I want? I like this piece. I don't worry about the scraps because they'll get used for something. Oh. It's a horrible job tearing that. It's a little tricky. Probably cutting it is better. <laughs> I like the torn edge. Just wants to go that way. I don't worry about it if it's not perfect. I'm obviously loving that tissue. I know I'm covering up a lot of that, but I guess I could take a little bit more here. You could um, definitely like put this on with a matte medium or something, but I seem to do pretty good with the glue, so I like the glue because then you can still feel the texture of the paper instead of the texture of whatever medium you use. I'm using that one. <laughs> I washed them all in, except this one I forgot, and so it was up here. The other ones I left downstairs. So let's see. I have a brush I could use. Um, I kind of want to use a different paint. I don't really want to use the iridescent, so I'm going to grab something. Just have some regular black. So I'll just have to use this one. And this is just black acrylic. So I'm just gonna use 
the sponge. That way hopefully I won't have any running underneath. I kind of like that um, texture that it gets too with the sponge. It looks kind of, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, almost sandpapered. I didn't realize I was in as close as I am. Sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, it's good if you're just wanting to look right here, but. Um, do I want to use one of these guys? These circular ones are kind of cool. Maybe I'll just cut one of those out of the paper. Oh, please judge us for who these guys are. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to be the next journal. I finally got far enough away from it that I want to use it. It's weird. I was talking to my daughter about that because a lot of these um, digitals will take me, you know, a month or two or whatever to complete. And in the process of doing that, I kind of like almost get tired of them. I mean, that's kind of weird. I really like them, obviously, or I wouldn't make them the way I do, but it's almost like you get tired of it. That's kind of the way it was with the drawing the sewing ladies for a couple months. I just sort of had to get away from messing with those because like I just sort of got tired of it, <laughs> which is weird because I really enjoy that look, but. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. I put some alcohol ink and other ink on these papers, and I think they're kind of cool. They're a different colorway, but I think it'll be okay if I ink a little bit. Put it here. Maybe one more shorter. Put my can't see. I've got so much junk sitting around from the numerous projects. I don't know if I want that or not. Yeah, I don't think those colors work. Nope, doesn't just doesn't. Either. You won't see any of it. Just a little paper -y. I don't know, I just feel like something needs to make that black um, pop out a little bit. I'm sticking my finger in the paint, that's not helpful. Hmm. Just not finding the right thing. Could use some of this. I don't know what's with the threes. <laughs> That's funny, I just realized there's a three there too. I just wasn't computing that. Okay. I'm 
bookmark making again. It sticks really good to my fingers when they're all gluey. Dry enough, I hope. Sorry, I'm shaking the whole camera when I do that, aren't I? Good on that. Kind of want to see the whole thing on that one. I think it'll look cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that look a lot. And then you'll be so proud of me. <laughs> I finally got around to making myself some little corner templates here for tags. So I've just taken these things you get in the mail and cut all different types of corners. I got, have two of them, so they're all different. So you can have smaller corners off if it's a smaller tag or bigger, or different angles and whatever. So that's all I did if you are curious as to what those are. And then you can just, uh, it wasn't as wet as I thought it was. Yeah. I really like the look of that. Very cool. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy little adventure. I, I do really like the wood back there to write on. I think it looks great, and then I'll just pop in there like that. So I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you're new, like I said, welcome, welcome. And thank you so much to all of my continuing uh, people who follow me. I really appreciate you guys because I couldn't do this without you. That is for sure. And I truly do thank you for that. So we will chat again soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.